lovely ladies welcome back to my channel it is Tiffany I hope you guys are doing well listen last week I am so sorry guys I did not upload a video last week Wednesday so um, with that being said I was traveling and I did not get a chance to upload the video I had a really busy and hectic week but um, I'm definitely back here today and have a video ready for you um so i want to just kind of stop and say thank you so much for supporting this channel thank you so much for my new subscribers if you are watching this video and you have not subscribed please go ahead consider doing so um subscribe like and comment and so on and so forth and um just be a part of this um this family um here we just really just try to discuss scriptures i really try to give you guys information from a biblical standpoint that is practical that you can use in your everyday life so with that being said this video is just really talking about daily scriptures that i have been you know um declaring and print of my life over the last um, few years um, sometimes I pick it up and I do it and sometimes I don't but I do try to be consistent with doing my devotions and reading my Word of God every day but sometimes I will pull maybe one or two or maybe three from this list of scriptures and just kind of pray it and declare it over my life so I wanted to just share that list with you guys I do keep it on my phone so it's a little bit easier for me to just kind of grab in the morning when I get up and just start to just kind of declare and pray these scriptures and just being thankful um, for who God is. It's such a beautiful reminder when you have the Word of God and you're reading the Word of God. It's a beautiful reminder of the blessings that God has just bestowed upon us each and every day. So with that being said, I'm going to share this list is quite lengthy, but I'm going to share a few with you guys um, in hopes that it is really a blessing to you guys and just kind of really talk about the scripture um, as well. So the first scripture I want to share with you guys is taken from Mark 12 verses 30. And it says, I love the Lord my God with all my heart, soul and mind. And listen, this is, I think, the perfect scripture for you to kind of start your day with because it is such a beautiful reminder that we are supposed to love God with our whole entire being being amen and i truly believe that if we love god with our heart our soul and our mind that will kind of keep us um keep us away from idolatry if we're able to just focus all our attention on god and yes obviously we have family we have spouses we have children and that is definitely not what i'm talking about but at the same time if we're able to love god with our whole heart soul and mind there should not be any vacancy for anything else that would try to um we try to um, substitute who God is in our life. Amen. So that's a beautiful scripture for you to kind of keep in your heart. The Bible says to keep the word in your heart so that you do not sin against God. So this is Mark 12 verses 30. And moving on to the next scripture I want to share with you guys is walk by faith and not by sight. Listen, this is a very popular scripture and it is one of my favorites and I'm sure it is one of your favorites as well. And it's 2 Corinthians 5 verse 7. This also that, listen, we don't know what the day is going to unfold, but one thing we do know is that the word of God changeth not. And the Bible says that we walk by faith and not by sight so this is a beautiful scripture to remind yourself that no matter what happens listen you are walking by faith and not by your own ability not by your own wisdom not by your own you know thought process but you are walking by faith amen not by your own vision rather that's what i want to that's the word that sums this up you're not walking by your own vision but you're walking by faith Amen. Um, and sight and what I and what I want to just kind of give more clarity on what I believe that the scripture is saying that I believe that faith is literally taking lifting your feet and just putting your feet down and doing it one step at a time, one baby step at a time, because there's a lot of times, um, sis, that when we be journey, we'll journey through uh, a particular area in life, whether it's waiting on the Lord for you know, to have children or waiting on the Lord for, you know, to get married or whether it's just having faith to step out and to start a business. Listen, we don't know. Our vision is limited. We don't know what the future holds. We don't know what tomorrow holds. But one of the things that we are doing is walking by faith and believing God um, that he will make the pathway clear. There's a scripture that says that, um, I think it's in the book of Proverbs or Psalm, where it says that, um, the angels go before you make every crooked path straight and that's pretty much what we are believing for that walking by faith means that we are believing and hoping that god will make the pathway clear 
for us to just kind of walk into journey through. Amen. And while we journey through that, he will supply all of our needs according to his riches and glory. So that's what I mean by we're not necessarily walking by our own vision and walking by our own understanding because when you serve God, a lot of times we got to we got to cast that aside. Amen. And um, if you don't believe me, if we can look at um, Paul, Paul says, listen, he cast everything. He, he considered everything, his prior knowledge, um, his wisdom. He, he considered that as dung compared to the revelation and the knowledge of who Jesus Christ is is so that is what i mean by that scripture i hope that is quite clear and not confusing because i do not want to confuse you um the second the third one right that i want to share with you is psalm 118 verses 6 and it says the lord is on my side i would not fear what man can do to me this is beautiful so if you are going through going through um, a situation where you are fearful for your life or you are fearful of losing your job or you are fearful of losing your home or losing your marriage you have to understand that the Lord is on your side and you should not be afraid afraid what man can do to you fear is not of God so I believe that you should speak the word declare the word and believe the word of God and just walk out there by faith and understanding that God will keep you and he's your protector. The Bible says that the righteous uh, run into him and they are saved. And that is in the book of Psalm. So do not fear what man can do to you. If God is for you, who can be against you? So the next scripture I want to talk about is taken from John 15 verses 5. And it says, I abide in Christ. He abides in me and I bear much fruit. Listen, I'm always quoting this scripture when the enemy try to come and attack me. I let him know that I abide in Christ and Christ is within me and I bear much fruit. So whatever it is that you are trying to attack my life with, whether it's um, sickness or poverty or, you know, or um, frustration or oppression or whatever it is i declare to the enemy that that is not of christ those things are not found in christ so therefore it will not be found in me because i abide in christ and he abides in me we are in covenant relationship so which means sickness has no part in your body um there's no lack within you or in your household that christ is within you and if god is within you you are um if God is with within you, you can do all things. Um, you know, um, there is joy that remains within you. There is life that is within you. Amen. So the second one is First Corinthians two verses sixteen, and it says, "I have the mind of Christ; therefore, I act in a way that is consistent with His actions." Now, this verse here it depends on the version of the Bible that you are reading, but this one is um, just kind of going straight to the point where it says i have the mind of christ therefore i act in a way that is consistent with his actions and this is also just a beautiful scripture to start your day with because you um i remind you that what your behavior um that you display or who you present to the world that you want to make sure that it is align aligns or consistent with who christ is amen and also that you have the mind of christ you don't have a defeated mind you don't have a mind that you know you're defeated or you're not good enough or whatever the case may be you have the mind of christ amen therefore you can act in a way that is consistent with with his action with who christ is okay and who um and the power that he has availed to you through um the through his blood through redemption through salvation and so on and so forth amen you have the mind of christ Okay, so you should not fear, you should not worry, you should just stand on the word of God and believe who God is because obviously we know that those things are not of Christ. Amen. So moving on to Hebrews, Hebrews 13 verses 5, which is a very popular one. It says, he will never leave me nor will he forsake me. Listen, I love this because there's been so many seasons of my life where I have just felt alone and I have felt abandoned. And this scripture just have just came to my rescue and reminded me that, listen, I will never leave you. God said that he will never leave you. It is a promise and God is a promise keeping God. So he said he will never leave you nor will he forsake you. He is true to his word you can bank on it you can secure your faith in this and knowing that God is by your side the Bible says that he is close to the brokenhearted there's so many scripture references in the Word of God that will just kind of confirm this and just kind of 
cause this scripture to just kind of um, uh, be solidified in you and in your spirit. Amen. So the next scripture I want to share with you guys is um, Philippians 4 verse 13, which is another great one. And it says, I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. I love this scripture. It's my daughter's favorite scripture. And I definitely can see why it is. Um, there's so many different times that even in my life and even throughout the course of the day, I feel like I just cannot get this thing done. You know, sometimes when I envision certain things that I believe that the Lord has placed in my heart. I'm like, I cannot do that. I mean, who am I, you know, to try to even do this or try to accomplish this? But the Bible says I can do all things through Christ. That strengthens me. So with that being said, I just kind of really take the scripture on and I do it with feeling afraid sometimes. I do it with feeling uncertain, but I do it anyway because the Bible tells me that I can do all things through Christ. And I believe the word of God and, um, and the word of God is true. Amen. One of the other scriptures I want to share with you guys, Isaiah 54, verse 17. It says, there is no weapon that is formed against against you or against me that can prosper. Every tongue that rise up against me in judgment shall be condemned. Listen, this is one of my go-to scripture, my daily scripture. Listen, when the enemy is coming in like a flood, I know that God is going to raise their standard. But I also declare this scripture here, Isaiah 54, that listen, no weapon formed against me, against my family, against those who I'm even praying for. Because sometimes it's not even about you and your family, but who I'm, I, who I'm praying for, my sisters and brothers in Christ. I stand on this scripture and I declare the scripture over their life that listen, there's no weapon that is... Um, no weapon that is formed against them shall prosper. For there are the heirs of the kingdom. There are children of God. There are God's role of priesthood. So I declare this scripture not over, not just over my life and my family and my household, but I declare it over my brothers and sisters' life as well. Because, listen, we all know that the weapons that's going to form. Listen, I mean, the wind is going to, you know, the storm rather is is is, is going to come about and, and, and i can just even think about right now when jesus was in the boat with the disciples when, when there was a storm you know but it did not destroy them it did not overtake them because jesus spoke to the storm he spoke peace to it amen and this is what i envision when the enemy tries to form a weapon that you're going to feel you're going to feel some of the storm you're going to feel the wind you're going to feel the rain but just have faith and understand that it will not destroy you it will not take you out because Jesus will never leave you nor forsake you and he is with you in the fire like he was with the three Hebrew boys amen so I honestly and wholeheartedly believe the scripture that no weapon formed against me nor you shall prosper and every tongue that rises against us in judgment shall be condemned in Jesus name so another scripture I want to talk about is first Peter 4 verse 9 it says I will be hospitable without complaint listen this one here Sis really got me really good. It is something that I am still trying to work through. I am still trying to process through the scripture where it says, I will be hospitable without complaint. I will be nice. I will be um, courteous. I will show the love of God, even though the person is not to me lovable. Amen. But the Bible says that we must be hospitable without complaint and not to murmur and not to complain about it, but to do what it is that God has called us to do. And listen, let me tell you, it is a struggle, but I, I decree and declare that I, this scripture, I will live out the scripture. Amen. So, um, another scripture I want to share with you guys is that I am Matthew 25 verses 23 says, I am faithful over a few things and I'll be made ruler over many. And I'm going to end this video on this scripture here. Um, Matthew 25 verse 23. I am faithful over a few things and I will be, be and I will be made ruler over many. I love this because this is a beautiful reminder that if you are faithful and you are obedient, you can eat the good of the land. Amen. And that is uh, a scripture in the Old Testament. But I love to just kind of complement scriptures with one another because this is saying that if I'm faithful over a few things, a good steward over my finance, if I'm a good steward over my household, over my time, and so on and so forth, things that God has blessed me with, um, though it may look small right now, I will, be, I will be made ruler over many. Amen. And I believe that God really see if we are, will be a good steward 
over the thing, the small portions and the small things that he has given us in order for us to be able to kind of have a larger responsibility. Okay. Um, and that's where I see what the scripture is saying to me. I am faithful over a few things. I will be made ruler over many. And this is definitely speaking to me being a good steward of what God has given me. Matter of fact, I posted this on my Instagram that you will, you will become an influencer or you will become an inspiration rather when you're able to be a good steward over your daily life of your daily task so um that is how i feel about this scripture that's my revelation and my insight on it i really hope that this video was informative and it was a blessing to you comment if you if you would like to that is fine and um, i hope to see you guys again in my next video so until we meet again peace and love bye